subnetting. A subnetwork or subnet is a logical subdivision of an IP network. The practice of dividing a network into two or more network is called subnetting. To create subnet, we need to take bits from host part to the network part. Consider this example IP address 192.168.10.5. This belongs to class C and number of network bits are 24 and the number of uh, host bits are 8. Now I have already discussed this part with my uh, previous uh, video. Now if you take uh, class C, we can find number of network in class C by using 2 to the power 24 where 24 is network bits so number of host addresses for each network can be found by using 2 to the power 8 where 8 is host bits now look at the following I have mentioned number of network and number of host for each class that you can create class a and class B as I mentioned earlier subnets are used for our personal requirements and to create subnet we need to get or borrow bits from host part if I take the earlier IP address 192.168.10.5 uh, if we don't have subnet, we can create 2 to the power 8 that is 256 host addresses for each network. Now it can be represented as follows with number of network bits 192.168.10.5 slash 24. So we have 24 network bits as it is class C. But if I write like this. 192.168.10.5 slash 26 now here 26 means number of network bits if this is class C there should be only 24 bits for the network but I have mentioned 26 here that means two extra bits have been taken from host part now host part has only 6 bits as uh, there are 32 bits for the IPv4 address that means when you uh, subtract 26 from 32 you get 6 bits as uh, host bits these 2 extra bits can be used to create subnets so we can create 2 to the power 2 that is 4 subnets each subnet can have 2 to the power 6 that is 64 host computers or addresses we'll see how to find subnet mask this is class C address and we know by putting ones for the network bits we get network mask as follows that is 255.255.255.0 after creating subnet we have 26 bits for the network when we put ones for the network bits and zero for the host bits we get 255.255.255.192 as our network mask it is known as subnet mask subnet mask we will take the above subnets and find out range for IP addresses as I have 26 bits for uh, network I'll convert last portion of IP address into binary and I'll keep other part as decimal I will take 192.168.10 and the rest of part that rest 
the rest of that uh, in binary so I have two bits for the subnet so I can write four patterns as follows 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 then each uh, subnet I can write host part minimum value six zeros or maximum value six ones from this I can get range of IP address where it is start and where it stops in decimal it is from 192.168.10.0 to 192.168.10.1 63 same way I can find the IP range for each subnet as given below I think you can remember how we found network and broadcast ad ad broadcast address from the previous video now here we have four subnets each subnet has a starting and ending address actually this starting address is known as networking address and the ending address or last address is known as broadcast address what we found from the early example or the range of IP addresses means network and broadcast addresses but we know network and broadcast addresses cannot be assigned to host computer that means actual number of addresses that we can assign to host in each subnet is 62 where I am subtracting to that is network and broadcast address from the 64 then I get 62 take the following example 200.150.10.10 slash 27 now here it is class C I am and I am taking 3 bit from the host for the subnet with this uh, we can create 2 to the power 3 that is 8 subnets and each subnet can have 2 to the power 5 32 host addresses so number of addresses that we can assign to host in each subnet is 32 minus 2 that is we have to I told you uh, we have to subtract network and broadcast address so 32 minus 2 you get 30 that are usable host addresses so subnet mass I can take by putting once for the network bits 255 255 255 dot 224 when you convert it to binary you get 224 so first IP range I can take 200.150.10.0 to 200.150.10.0 then I can take 200.150.10.31 now we know there are 32 host for each subnet including network and broadcast address we can find range for each subnet by adding 31 as starting address also considered as the first address because we have 32 address but I am adding 31 here because I am considered I am considering this first address also to find usable host address we have to take next address to the network address and the previous address from the broadcast address now look at the table here take this example also 160.10.40.3 slash 20 so this is a uh, class B address and usually it has 16 bit for the network but here 
I have taken 20 bits where 4 bits have been taken from the host part so I can create 2 to the power 4 that is 16 subnets where each subnet can have 2 to the power 12 that is uh, remaining bits 2 to the power 12 so that is equal to 4096 host addresses but usable addresses are 4096 minus 2 4094 so what is the subnet mask so when we will put uh, once for the network bit you get 255.255.240.0 now I am going to take the network version which came in 2019 LOL ICT paper according to the IP address 192.248.16.0 slash 24 there are no subnets because it is class C and we have 24 bits for the network now according to the question they are asking us to create three subnets for the admin, la admin lab and lib building so uh, to create three subnets we have to borrow at least two bits for the host when I borrow uh, uh, after borrowing this uh, two bits from the host part we can write our IP address 192.248.16.0 slash 26 so with this our subnet mask is 255.255.255.192 so IP range can be taken 192.248.16.0 to 192.0 248.16.20 uh, sorry 63 and so on because uh, we know uh, with the 6 bit we can create 64 host computer for each so network address is the first address of the each subnet as mentioned here but we have extra IP range remaining in this situation as there are four subnets in exam you can uh, write any three IP range as you wish and you will be getting full marks there are a different method of solving this question now I think the method I used here is more understandable 